Okay, this video is going to be about how to interpolate from a graph. Um, interpolate is just a real fancy term for reading a graph. It is really not any more difficult than that. And so what you see here is I have a, uh, a graph that's rudimentary. Uh, you'll have to forgive me, this, this graph doesn't have any numbers on it. What you would actually be reading would have some numbers. But let's say that, um, you know, on this graph, there was, a, you know, numbers here. And this number was, let's say that it was, oh, 25 milliliters. All right. And we wanted to know the mass at 25 milliliters. So what we would do is it's very simple. All right. You would just uh, come up here and you would just go up to the graph. Pretend that's going straight up right there to the graph. And then you would go over to the mass and then you would read whatever the mass says it is over there. So um, if it, in a, in a perfect world, I mean, it's a real easy to number to read and it'd be right on a number that's already marked. And so you could be, you could read it very easily. If it's in between two numbers, say that it's in between two numbers like this. Okay. And let's say that this was 10 grams and this was 20 grams. And you'll have to pardon my poor handmanship here as I'm trying to write. We would have to estimate about what that is. So, you know, to me, it looks like it's just over half. So if I were to estimate that, I would say it's right around 16 grams. And then that would be my answer. And that's how you interpolate from a graph. Um, it can be done the other way too. For instance, if you were given, you know, what's the mass or what's the volume at 20 grams, you can go this way and then read down. You do the exact same thing. You just read the, um, axis there. Now remember you go up to the line and over or over to the line and then down and that is how you interpolate from a graph.